Hey guys, this is Jade once again. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will learn about expanded accounting equation. Are you ready? Let's go! Hola! Our lesson for today is about expanded accounting equation. Last time, if you watched the video, you learned about the basic accounting equation. The basic accounting equation is assets equals liabilities plus equity. We also learned about assets, about liabilities, and about equity. So, in this video, we will learn about expanded equation of accounting. So first, what is the expanded accounting equation? So that's A equals L plus E plus R minus X. So last time we learned about A equals L plus E. So now, there's an additional of plus R minus EX. So what are these? These are asset equals liabilities plus equity plus revenue minus expenses. So we already learned about asset liabilities and equity so now we will learn about revenue and expenses so first what is revenue a revenue is defined as the gross inflow of economic benefits during the period arising in the course of ordinary activities of an enterprise when those inflows result in increase in equity other than those relating to contributions from the owner that's why you can see plus R or plus revenue because it states here revenue results in increase in equity. So sa madaling salita, ito ang kinita ng company sa kanilang business. Next, what is expense? Expense is defined as the gross outflow of economic benefits during the period arising in the course of ordinary activities of an enterprise when those outflow result in decrease in equity other than those relating to distributions from the owner. Sa madaling salita, ito ang gastos ng company sa kanilang business. By the way, these definitions came from PAS number 28. PAS or PAS means Principles of Accounting Standards. So, back to this definition, result in decrease in equity. That's why it's minus EX here. So this is the expanded accounting equation and we will learn about this through an illustration. For example, John has a laundry business and show this information. So John has total assets of 1,000 pesos, liabilities of 200 pesos, equity of 800 pesos, revenue and expense both zero. So in the end of the month, John received cash of 700 pesos for the services rendered and incurred an expense of 300 pesos. So in this statement, guys, there are two transactions wherein the first transaction is John received cash for the services rendered. Second transaction is John incurred an expense of 300 pesos. So, in accounting, guys, every transaction has dual, triple, or quadruple effect. But let's focus muna sa dual effect. And in this case, for the first transaction, John received cash of 700 pesos for the services rendered. That means there's an increase in cash since we received the cash for 700 pesos. And cash is an asset. So in asset, there's an increase of 700 pesos. And since we rendered the service, so there's an increase in our revenue for 700 pesos. This is what I'm saying that there's a dual effect in one transaction. So first effect is an increase in asset. Second effect is an increase in revenue. So for our second transaction, John incurred an expense of 300 pesos so expense gastos that means deduction sa ating cash and cash is an asset thus there's a deduction in asset of 300 pesos since we paid an expense so 
Nakaroon tayo ng gastos ng 300 pesos. That's why our cash was decreased. And as a result, our total assets also decreased. Since cash is under assets. And for the second effect, since we paid an expense, and we have an expense account here, so we will recognize the payment of expenses by adding 300 pesos to the expense account. So, in this case, there's a dual effect. Um, there's a decrease in asset for 300 pesos and an increase in expense account for 300 pesos as well. So now to check if everything is still right and correct, we need to make sure that everything is balanced using the expanded accounting equation. But before that, let's get the total amount of each of the accounts. So asset has a total amount of 1,400. Liabilities and equity are the same. Revenue is 700. And expense account has 300 pesos increase. So let's try to substitute. This is the expanded accounting equation. Asset equals liability plus equity plus revenue minus expense. So we have an asset of 1,400 equals liability of 200 pesos plus equity of 800 pesos plus revenue of 700 pesos minus expense of 300 pesos. So 1,400 equals so if you add 200 pesos plus 800 pesos plus 700 pesos, then you will deduct 300 pesos, you will get the same amount, 1,400. So guys, this is how to use the expanded accounting equation. So for our next video, we will learn about journalizing, about debits and credits. So I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment it down below. And I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you. Also, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that I'll be able to notify you once our next video is uploaded. Once again, this is Jade and you have a great day everyone. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell.